six. In the year 1977, NASA launched the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft into space. They were on a mission to explore the outer reaches of the solar system and beyond. Among all the many scientific instruments and experiments aboard these spacecraft, there was also a unique artifact on board. The artifact is known as the Golden Record. The main purpose of the Golden Record was to serve as a time machine for the existence of humanity, human culture and knowledge, and a gesture of goodwill to any intelligent extraterrestrial life forms or civilizations that might come across the spacecraft for the next billions of years, in case humanity goes extinct. The Golden Record contains a carefully selected number of sounds, images, and greetings that offer a glimpse into the rich diversity of life on planet Earth. The contents were chosen to represent the beauty and complexity of planet Earth, its cultures and its inhabitants. The record includes a variety of natural sounds, such as wind, rain and animals, as well as music from different cultures, including classical and folk traditions. Greetings in 55 languages and encoded diagrams depicting fundamental scientific concepts were also included to convey human understanding of the universe. The Golden Record included a pictorial diagram designed on the cover explaining how to play the record. The diagram will provide instructions on how to build a simple record player and decode the images using basic scientific principles. Both Voyager 1 and 2 have journeyed far beyond the confines of the solar system, entering interstellar space. As of November 2023, it is the most distant man-made object from planet Earth. It is about 24 billion kilometers away from planet Earth. It is estimated that the gold-coated record will last over a billion years in space. Now, the universe is so huge that it challenges the limits of human comprehension. The observable universe is the portion of the cosmos that humans can detect and study. According to current estimates, it spans approximately 93 billion light years in diameter. To put this into perspective, one light year, or in other words, the distance light travels in a year is about 5.8 trillion miles. However, the observable universe represents only a fraction of the entire cosmos. Beyond human observational reach lies the unobservable universe, an expanse that may be infinite or possess dimensions and features beyond current human understanding. Within the universe are galaxies. They are colossal structures composed of stars, gas, dust and dark matter. There are billions of galaxies in the observable universe alone, each hosting billions or even trillions of stars. The Milky Way galaxy is home to around 100 to 400 billion stars. Within the Milky Way, the solar system can be found, and it is not alone. It shares its galactic home with billions of other stars, asteroids, and various celestial objects. Within the solar system, there are eight planets that orbit the Sun. In 2006, the then ninth planet, Pluto, was reclassified as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union. The decision excluded it from the traditional list of planets. These planets can be categorized into two distinct groups based on their composition, size and characteristics terrestrial planets and Jovian planets. Terrestrial planets are the first four inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. They are smaller in size compared to their Jovian counterparts and they have solid rocky surfaces. These planets also have a higher density, making them more compact and less gaseous. Mercury is the smallest and the closest planet to the Sun. It is a rocky world with extreme temperature variations. It is the fastest planet in the solar system, completing a full orbit around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. 
The second closest planet to the Sun is Venus. It is known as Earth's sister planet due to its similar size and composition. It is the hottest planet in the solar system with a scorching surface temperature of about 464 degrees Celsius. The third planet is Earth. It is the only planet with liquid water on its surface. Planet Earth is also the only known celestial body to harbor life. The fourth and the last terrestrial planet is Mars. It is often referred to as the Red Planet due to its rusty appearance. Olympus Mons, the largest volcano on Mars, stands about 13.6 miles high. Now, the last category of planets are Jovian planets. They include Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They are larger and more massive than the terrestrial planets. Jovian planets are composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. They also lack a solid surface and have thick atmospheres with complex layering. The Jovian planets are also divided into two categories, gas giants and ice giants. Jupiter is the first among the Jovian planets and it is a gas giant. It is the largest planet in our solar system. 1,319 planet Earths will fit perfectly into Jupiter. This is the size of Jupiter compared to Earth. There is a massive storm on Jupiter that has been raging for at least 350 years. It is called the Great Red Spot. The next Jovian planet, Saturn, is also a gas giant with a unique and captivating appearance. The last two planets, Uranus and Neptune, are ice giants. These planets are predominantly composed of ice from water, ammonia and methane. They have a smaller proportion of hydrogen and helium compared to the gas giants. Neptune is the farthest recognized planet in the solar system. It takes approximately 164 Earth years to complete a single orbit around the Sun. The Sun is a star often referred to as the Yellow Dwarf. It has a diameter of about 1.4 million kilometers. The Sun's extraordinary energy output is a result of nuclear fusion processes occurring in its core. Within the Sun's core, temperatures can surpass a staggering 15 million degrees Celsius. The temperature of the Sun's photosphere is approximately 5,500 degrees Celsius. Light from the Sun takes approximately 8 minutes and 20 seconds to travel to planet Earth. This means that the light you see from the Sun actually began its journey over 8 minutes ago. The average distance between the Sun and the Earth is approximately 93 million miles.